Uh, the first time I met Elvis, I was uh, in, in Las Vegas in the 70s. I was the conductor and music director for B.B. King, the Blues Act. Uh, we were opening in the Las Vegas Hilton's main room as the opening act for Anne Margaret. Well, we had no idea Elvis was there, nor did she, so we were watching her act from backstage, and uh, in her act, she uh, walked around the main room in the audience, and she always stopped at this certain table. Well, there was this guy at the table, the maitre d' knew, with his hat pulled down over his head, and it was a gray fedora with a black band, and uh, when she stopped there, she uh, looked down to say something, and he pulled his hat back, and she almost fainted because it was Elvis Presley. Well, after the show, uh, I was downstairs in a BB's dressing room with his nephew, uh, Ann Margaret's backup singers, Hodges, James, and Smith. I always sounded like a law firm. Uh, and uh, Sonny Turner, who was the lead vocalist of the Checkmates, and his girlfriend. And uh, Elvis came bounding in. And he was coming to see B.B., but B.B. wasn't there, so he ran into us. And uh, he introduced himself as if it was needed. Uh, and uh, I had been uh, determined not to like Elvis Presley coming from Memphis because I heard about everything he ever did. And I was like, he's just showing off. You know, hey, he, you, know, you don't have to do that stuff. So uh, his magnetism shone through that particular night because when he came in the door, he thrust his arm, hi, I'm Elvis Presley, and my arm just automatically went up and shook his hand. And I was like, this is not happening to me. And uh, he, I introduced myself and told him I was from Memphis, and he was like, nah, you're not from Memphis. Uh, if you're from Memphis, where do I buy my clothes? And we started talking about Lansky Brothers on Beale Street and uh, about things that were native Memphis, and he was like, Oh, you are from Memphis. And so everybody, you know, introduced themselves. And he told one of the entourage, said, take them upstairs and uh, I'll be up in a minute. And he went to see Ann Margaret about 30 minutes later. We're in the suite on the 30th floor. And uh, in comes Elvis. He's back in. Uh, and he knows Sonny Turner with the checkmates. Sonny Charles, I'm sorry, Sonny Charles with the checkmates. And uh, they started a conversation, so everybody started a conversation. And then Elvis said, hey, let me do something for you, something special. You all seen the show? And we said no. So he put on a rehearsal tape, and he sang part of his show to the rehearsal tape. And I was like, oh, my God, Elvis Presley. So as the night wore on, uh, we uh, talked and talked, and he ordered some food. And, we, uh, and then he gave us, as we were leaving, he gave each person something. He gave uh, myself and B.B.'s nephew, W.D., he gave us autographed albums from uh, the Aloha concert. And uh, he gave all of the ladies scarves. And uh, he asked Sonny, because he knew him, he said, what do you want, man? And Sonny said, I want the belt. And uh, he took the belt off and gave it to him.